Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Nick from Noob Kill coming at you with another Madden video today and I want to welcome you guys back to another episode of Pack Reviews. Um, this is episode 2 guys. If you haven't seen episode 1, go ahead and check it out. I posted it last week and it was on the Pro Pack. But yeah, in this series, I rate packs basically and do my review on it. Basically, the title says it all. Um, but yeah, this is me giving reviews on legendary packs, premium packs, ultimate freeze packs or frost packs. I think that's what they're called. Um, but yeah, every single pack that you could buy in the market, I will be doing a review on. This excludes um, set packs, live event packs, and um, the packs they gave us for free. Um, maybe in the future, that could be something um, I could add that. But right now, I'm only doing the ones in the market because there's so many of them. I want to get through all of them first. But yeah, last time I had this rubric where I had look, content, what's in it, cost, and rate of elites. And I rated them all off. Look was out of three, content, what's in it, and cost were out of five, and rate of elites was out of two. So before I did the first ever episode, I told you guys about this series in a team of the year pack opening, and I asked you guys for some feedback of what you would like to put on the rubric. So I had my generic or uh, general ideas uh, to put on the rubric, and I took some of your guys' great feedback, and with my generic or general topics and i smushed them together and i got this rubric so everything was out of 20 um and in the last episode i asked you guys if you would like to add anything to the rubric so you guys gave a lot of amazing suggestions but most of them kind of all kind of felt like the last one rate of elites and i felt like that one is the least important out of the five um because it's hard to rate stuff that's random when you open up packs everything's random so saying rate of elites it is very tough to rate something that is random, basically. So I did change that into something a little different. And a lot of you guys suggested this as well. But yeah, this is what the new rubric looks like. So we took out rate of elites and we put in rate of excitement. So everything's rated the same. So it's still out of 20, but now out instead of rate of elites, something random, we got rate of excitement. So this is the new rubric. Let's go ahead and see what pack we're reviewing today. That's right, guys. We will be doing a review on the legendary packs in this episode. Let's do a quick background check on these packs. Um, they're one of the first packs ever to be released in Madden Mobile. The description in the store says this classic pack contains five gold or better players and a legend item. That legend item is a legend player or a legendary collectible. And these packs give you the best chance at pulling a legend. So let's go ahead and grade these bad boys. All right, so the first topic we're doing is look. I gave it a two out of a three. I know a lot of you guys are wondering how is it getting such a high two. Um, it's pretty basic and simple. I agree it's pretty basic and simple, but sometimes simplicity is the best way to go. And you also got to take in consideration that this is one of the first packs that got released in the game. So yeah, I feel like that white, how they kept the NFL logo with like the leaves white, all white, and the legends, it looks really clean. And the royal blue just accents it perfectly. So I feel like this is a pretty good look. Doesn't get a full 3 out of 3 because it is a little basic, but I feel like that's a really good basic. Um, so yeah, that was look. Let's move on to the next category. All right, guys. So in the next category is content. And I know in the last pack review, you guys asked, what's the difference between content and what's in it? Um, so let me try to explain it to you guys. So what I mean by what's in it is like what's in the packs. What does it give you? How many gold players are in it? How many silver, bronze, and trophies, and so on and so forth are in the pack? Um, by content, I don't mean like what's in the pack. I mean by does the pack bring any new content to the game to keep it fresh? So let's use the example for Team of the Year packs. When Team of the Year packs came out, um, Team of the Year players came into the game. We got new content there. Frost pack came out. Um, we got the Christmas event. So that's what I kind of mean by content. And in the content category for the legendary packs, it got a perfect score of five out of five. Um, it got a good score because, yo, who doesn't love legendaries? And it always brings the legendary content with the packs, basically. So that's why I got a perfect score. Let's move on to the next category. All right, guys. So the next one is cost. This is probably the worst score for the legendary packs. I gave it a 2.5 out of 5. Why I gave it such a low score? Because it does go for a hefty amount of money of 68.5k each or 700 Madden cash. And even though you do get that guaranteed legendary item of a player or a collectible, if you get that collectible, it's a pretty big gut punch and it is pretty expensive. Why it didn't get a flat out one or a flat out two is because it still gives you that five gold or better players. So you still have five chances at pulling an elite. So that's not that bad, but let's move on to the next one. 
All right, guys. So the next one is what's in it. Um, I give it a four out of a five. I give it such a nice high score because like I said, it does give you five gold or better players. So possibly you can get five elites in one pack. And also it gives you a chance at the legend. And this is the best pack to pull a legend in. Um, so yeah, if you're the luckiest person in the world, I don't know if this is even possible, but it, it is because it says it is. You can get a legendary player and five elites. If you do that, go ahead and go out and buy a lottery ticket because you're probably the luckiest person on the world. <laughs> but yeah, so it does get a nice high score of four out of five lastly we got rate of excitement this is the newest topic on the rubric and it got a perfect score two out of two why it got a perfect score is because legendary packs are the most anticipated packs in madden mobile and if you go on social media everybody's talking about these packs when they're coming back and everybody's getting excited when they do come back and when they come back everybody's buying them legendary players are getting pulled left right and center and the excitement level is insane man so it's way up there that's why it gets a perfect score Overall, the legendary packs didn't score that bad of a score. It got 15.5 out of 20. Um, the one that hurt it the most was actually cost. It got 2.5 there, but still didn't do that bad. I believe it got the same score as the pro pack. Um, so that's pretty good. But I got a clip to show you guys, so let's get into that. All right, guys, so last pack review, you guys asked if I can open up a pack of what we just reviewed. So since we just did a legendary pack review, I'm going to go ahead and open up some legendary packs. Lucky for us, when I was recording this episode, there was actually legendary packs in store. So these are fresh, brand new packs never seen before. Um, I have no problem showing you guys clips. The only problem I found was if I do like the later or older um, pack reviews on most feared and stuff, if you guys still want me to show clips, they just won't be fresh and brand new. They'll probably be of my old YouTube videos. But if you guys have no problems with that, I'll keep doing it. And this last pack was insane, guys. Let's go ahead and open it up. First card was a LaShawn McCoy. And then this next card is Bruce Smith himself, the Mobile Masters rookie card. And what was actually really funny is the first two legend packs that we just opened were actually Bruce Smith uh, collectible cards. So if you don't believe me, go ahead and check that out. We got two Bruce Smith collectible cards and then we got Bruce Smith himself. So I thought that was really funny and really cool at the same time. But yeah, that's going to come to the end of this uh, pack review episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.